Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I am not here to sell you a home today. I'm here to count down the top five public elementary schools in the city of Markham. Phone name, Jennifer Yao, and I am the York Region Realtor that helps young families like yours find the best home possible in a recommended school district where you can raise your children with confidence. Oh, and what's this? A little foreshadowing, perhaps? In this third of four segments on public elementary schools in York Region, we are going to focus on Markham, which includes Markham Village, Unionville, and East Thornhill, among others. While Markham has many diverse neighborhoods, it does feature a large Chinese population, most of whom speak Cantonese, Mandarin, or English. Three languages that I personally can have a conversation in. Hello, well, hi Jennifer. Oh, hi Sam Sigdalei. Now that's Cantonese. 我在大多伦多已经做了十三年的房地产经济. And that's Mandarin. Yo, yo, my crib is in this hood. Right here, boy. And that's English. I perfect speak English. <laughs> okay, on to the top five public elementary schools in Markham. Paimingi Wu at number five in Markham, near Young and Steels, and backing on to the baseball oriented Grandview Park is Henderson Avenue. Timing, they say, coming in at number four in our countdown in the Buttonville neighborhood is the public school that they've named Coldale. Timing, decent, the number three ranked public elementary school in Markham, right next to the beautiful and picturesque Two Good Pond Park, is William Bercy Public School. Timing, they yi. We have no. Okay. Timing the Yi, coming in at number two. We know just a little and just a little east. Okay. Timing the Yi. Okay. Timing the Yi. <laughs> okay. Timing the Yi. That's too much. Timing <laughs> the Yi, coming in at number two. And just a little east of the legendary Angus Glen Golf Club, we have Castlemore. Timing Dai Yat and holding down the top spot in this year's rankings for the best schools in Markham da -da -da -da, is Stonebridge. Naturally, you can view all of our school rankings, including Catholic rankings, French immersion rankings, and high school rankings, all at suzyhomes.com. So, if you have a young family and are looking for a home in Markham or anywhere else in the GTA, Reach out to us, we'll be happy to help. And if you don't need a realtor right now, but like good music, pick up a copy of my album. Jennifer Yao sings Christmas with a Chinese spin. And it includes such favorites as this classic. Loved by children for years and years. Rudolph, the free range chicken. Who is this? Happy Times Caroling Service? Would you like to hear a Christmas carol? In, in the daytime? In the spring? Anytime is a good time for a Christmas carol. Which one? Today, we're featuring a Chinese-Canadian classic about a chicken that fears for his life one Christmas. It's called Rudolph the Free Range Chicken. Okay. Excellent. Okay, Jennifer, is everyone ready? <laughs> All right. Today's selection is being sung by the Yao family and heal it. Okay. Chow and 
Chucky, Ben Ben and Sai Hu and Li Ming and Plucky. But do you recall the most famous chicken of all? Rudolph the Free Range Chicken used to live with Chairman Mao, but Rudolph believed that one day he would end up as a nice Kung Pao. All of the other house pets talked to him the very least. They thought that soon Paul Rudolph would be featured in a Christmas feast. Then came dreaded Christmas Day and Chairman came to say, Rudolph got some news for you. Tonight, we only make tofu. Then all the house pets talked to him. They would never make him leave. Rudolph the free range chicken, he lived happily till New Year's Eve. Happily till New Year's Eve. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Well, how did you like it? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs>